lecture we will see how to construct a large size decoder using smaller size decoders so something like this using 2 by 4 decoder implementing 3 by 8 decoder or 4 by 16 decoder or 5 by 32 decoders right so because we may get questions from this concept that is how many 2 by 4 decoders required to implement 4 by 16 decoder or 5 by 32 decoder etc okay so how to construct that we need to see so we need to remember one point here is decoders with enable inputs can be connected together to form larger size decoder right so using this uh, help of this enable input so we may connect you know, three decoders or four decoders or two decoders you know connected together to form larger size decoders now we'll see how to construct three by eight decoder using two by four decoder now we can uh, estimate how many two by four decoders so to implement three by eight is see i need four outputs so but it will give only four outputs so how many required two two by four required so i can make like this two by four two by four right how many so i will make it as y naught y1 y2 y3 y4 y5 y6 and y7 so i got eight outputs but if i see so it will take should should take only three inputs but for two by four i can give only two so what is the other input will become a enable input so from these three inputs two will become as inputs and one input will become as enable input but who will become enable that we need to see from the truth table so if i see this uh you know three by eight decoders so three inputs is there x y z now if you observe clearly if you take one one part right if we make two parts right for this first part x is big x is constant right for the second part also x is constant this is zero and this is one that means so if you think for zero x is equal to zero this this part should work for x is equal to one this should this part should work so how we can make like that so if i make this y and z as the two inputs for this two two by four decoder the other input that x will become a enable input so this is x but for x complement one decoder will work for x without complement it will work another decoder that is this is an input for this two by four right for x is equal to zero this will work for x is equal to one this bottom uh, decoder will work now we'll check one or two combination suppose x y z 0 1 1 so what is this combination the decimal number is 3 that means y3 should be 1 remaining all should be 0 so will we get or not we'll check so g y z means 1 1 here also 1 1 now if you see x x is equal to 0 so here 0 means i will get 1 here 0 means i will get 0 here so this will be off and this will be on so whenever this is non, so this is corresponding bit is 1 1 so it will make the function value or the output terminal y3 as high remaining all zero so what is this y3 we are getting one remaining all zeros because this is not enabled so enable not enabled means all always will get zero so all zeros but only y3 is getting high suppose if i see seven it is triple one right so triple one means again one one only but only the change here is this is one and this is yeah this is zero so one is coming here right so i'm making comma so one is here zero is here so this will be off the second case this will be off and this will be on whenever it is on whenever it is off all will get zero whenever it is on one one means five seven will be one remaining all zero so here y seven will be one right so what we need to remember is who will become an enable input right so whichever is you know making constant for you no know, uh, half of the part so we will make it as a enable input right for x is equal to zero the upper part will work for x is equal to one the lower part will work so this is like this we will see how to con uh, construct 4 by 16 decoder using 2 by 4 decoder now if you see 2 by 4 means so how many uh, 2 by 4 required so 4 into 4 so i need 4 2 by 4 decoders so i'll make 2 by 4 then 2 by 4 
then 2 by 4 then 2 by 4 so 4 2 by 4 decoder so it will be y15 to here y naught to y3 only 4 y4 to y7 y8 to 8 9 10 11 y12 to y 15 so total 16 but the inputs will be only two right yes or no only two inputs but 4 by 16 means again it should take the two inputs so where it will be see it is 4 2 by 4 so it will have one enable input this is also enable enable and enable 4 enables now this is only taking 2 so if I make one more 2 by 4 decoder so it will take 2 more input extra so this will be say 4 means I will start from W and X these are YZ only now I will make some conclusion here see if you see the previous case I have taken the MSB as a enable input similarly always we will go for the MSB as enable in so W and X will be MSBs so it will generate four outputs yes or no and each output at a time will go to one enable input so that is the you no know, construction or the you know, point we need to remember so this one more goes to here right at each there's W and X value so one will be high so that will goes to the to enable the next one now we will check one condition suppose w x y z we know it's very simple the output function will be suppose 0 0 0 1 0 what is value the 4 so that means y 4 should be 1 remaining all 0 so if we, is it possible or not we will check so it may have the enable input that is very simple e is equal to 1 etc so this is 0 this is 1 now who will become high this is 0 1 2 3 so 0 1 means 1 so this is high so take this one so this will be high remaining all 0 yes or no that is a 1 right 0 1 means 1 so this is 0 1 2 3 so this will be 1 so this will be operated and the remaining will be off so all will be 0 and what is the yz yz is again 0 0 so 0 0 means y4 will be 1 remaining all 0 so we are getting what y4 as 1 so this is the construction of the 4 by 16 using 2 by 4 how many 2 by 4 required 4 plus 1 right so for each 2 by 4 decoder we need to enable right even without enable so we can reconstruct but with the help of this enable input we try to make a larger circuit a larger decoder using the smaller one right Next, we will see how to construct 5 by 32 decoder using 2 by 4 decoder. So, 2 by 4 decoder means only 4 outputs, but I require 32. So, how many 2 by 4 required? Suppose it is a first stage, I required 8 2 by 4 decoders. See, so 8 4s are 32, so 8 2 by 4 decoders I have represented like this y naught to y31. But for this 2 by 4 I can give only 2 inputs so 2 inputs I fixed at y and z right and to enable this all 8 decoders we need 8 outputs so how, how can I get 8 outputs again I need 2 2 by 4 decoders so for this uh, 8 decoders I will operate with y z and the next stage I will operate with w and x see we will go from the lsb to msb so y z then w x now I can give only 4 up to here but I need to give 5 so for next stage I can use see here I am getting only 2 2 by 4 to operate this 2 circuit I need only 2 enable pins so here the enable pin here enable pin so I need only 1 1 by 2 decoder so that is I am giving as a P so it will generate this some 0 1 here 0 1 2 3 here 0 1 2 3 here also 0 1 2 3 etc so this is the construction of 5 by 32 how many 2 by 4 required here 8 8 plus 2 10 2 by 4 decoders and 1 1 by 2 decoder all right so this is about this construction but we'll check for one condition 
suppose p w x y z suppose 0 1 1 1 1 so what is this how much value 4 1 means y 15 should be high remaining all 0 is it possible or not so first is 0 yes or no 0 means it will be high right so if it is high then this will be operate this will be gone so see where it is going from y16 to y31 all zeros will get so for this all zeros then this is 1 so this will be operate what is w and x so 1 1 so 1 1 means 0 1 2 3 so this will be 1 remaining all zeros so 1 means this will be operate this will all will be 0 so up to here I will get zeros only next 1 means it will be operated and yz is 1 1 again so 1 1 means 0 and 1 0 1 2 3 so this will be high remaining all 0 so what is we are getting y 15 as 1 remaining all 0 right so this is the what the construction and the verification also right it is also possible to design 5 by 32 decoders using only 2 by 4 decoder so here in this case we use 1 1 by 2 decoder so instead of this 1 by 2 decoder i can use 2 by 4 decoder also so that is the so first it will have two input and four output so what we do is we will not use these two outputs i will use these two outputs only so one in enable it will go here and one over will go here so here we are using these two so these two are 0 1 2 3 now this will have enable input so i am not using the first one as enable so we always will have the enable input this is also enable now what we do is here x and y will be there no so for the msb i will use 0 the for lsb i will use this p now if you see 0 so p is as a msb here so p is equal to 0 so 0 0 p is equal to 1 it will become 0 1 only so we will get only two possible conditions and you will get two outputs corresponding so remaining we will not get so for those two outputs we are using as a enable input now how many 2 by 4 decoders required here 8 2 and 1 so total instead of this uh, 10 plus 1 so we will have only 11 2 by 4 decoders can be used right so that is we can have only 2 by 4 decoder instead of 1 by 2 right here we are not using the these two outputs so this is also one way of design right next we'll see 4 by 16 decoder using 3 by 8 decoders now it's very simple so 3 by 8 means we need just nick white now we'll see how to construct 4 by 16 decoder using 3 by 8 decoder so it is simple that 3 by 8 means i require only 2 3 by 8 so make 16 outputs so this is 3 by 8 and this is 3 by 8 now how many inputs it will take three inputs this is also three inputs but four input we should give so that i will give it as enable input so this is one and this is one enable input now who will be this one always msb so this will be w and this is x y z right this is also x y z so for a w equal to 0 this will be operated w is equal to 1 this will be operated so y naught to y7 y8 to y50 that's it very simple the remaining decoders also like this only suppose i required 5 by 32 using 3 by 8 decoder right so sometimes they may ask how many 3 by 8 decoders plus how many the different decoders required or how many only 3 by 8 decoders required etc so is it possible to design 5 by 32 decoder using only 3 by 8 i don't think so we'll check one so 3 by 8 means how many 3 by 8 required i think first stage 4 yes or no then only i'll get 32 so y naught to y 31 so then it will take only three inputs three inputs will be fixed at so p w x y z so x y z x y z x y z and x y z yes or no now only we are having four so i require only four no enable inputs so how what do we require one two by four is enough so to enable this one as well as this one as well as this one as well as the last one now it will take how many inputs two inputs what is the two inputs p and w so p w x y z 
now 4 3 by 8 decoders 1 2 by 4 decoders are required to construct 5 by 32 decoder similarly you can go different different types of you no know, constructions larger decoders using smaller one you try on your own if you're getting any problem please post a comment we can discuss right in the next lecture we'll this will in the next lecture we'll see how to implement different different logic functions using the decoders that is also a very important concept so we can implement any logic function using this decoders that also we need to discuss